Before we start working on these ETL process, let's figure out what we have. We have this table that we see on screen right now that has four columns. The first one is a date. Then we have a text column, which is just the name of the product. Then the channel name on which we actually sold that specific product. And then the amount for that specific sale. What we would like to do is start with this table right here and come up with a result that looks more like this. It's still four columns, but this time it's going to be grouped by date and channel name. And then for that combination, we're going to get the total sales for that store in that specific date, and then the total products. We would like to do this in all three tools. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm in Tableau prep here, and to get started, all we need to do is click here where it says connect to data. In connect to data, let's select uh, Microsoft Excel because it's an Excel file. So it's this one that says grouping slash start. And it's going to select automatically the table that I have in there. It's just one table by the name of sales. I can see the name of the uh, fields. I can rename those uh, here. I can even add some filters if I needed to. But I'm just cool with what I see. From here, I can click the plus sign and I'm going to go with uh, aggregate. So I'm going to be creating an ag aggregation, which is basically going to be the group by operation. So from here, I want to see the group fields, which is going to be a group on channel name. So just drag those two here. And for the aggregated fields, you can do these two. So number of records aggregated. So this is simply going to be a count uh of the fields or the rows which is going to give me the total amount of sales uh or total orders quantity of orders and the sum of amount is the actual sales so i can rename this number of records i can just double click right here and instead of number of records uh, we can name this total products and total amount we can rename this to be total sales now we have everything that we wanted and just click the plus sign, select output, and in output, we can select to save this to a file, change this name of the file, or to uh, uh, save this file and the output type. Then just run the flow and it's always gonna be uh, starting to override an existing file that I have. So let's go ahead and just replace it. And in less than a second, it actually finished. And this is how you do it inside of Tableau Prep. Now inside of Power BI Desktop, we're going to be connecting to the data that we have, which is in an Excel workbook. So we're simply going to go here. I'm going to input the file path already here. And I'm going to be connecting to this one that says sales one. So I'm going to click on edit and it's going to launch again. And it's going to be the uh, query editor or the power query editor uh, from here. So we have this applied steps section on the right. Uh, it has uh, the query settings and each step is basically telling me what is going on. What is power query doing to transform my data on the left pane? I see the queries and in the middle section, I see the preview of my data at that specific step. So imagine this is a timeline and in each event, we're transforming our data somehow. So with this one that we have, we actually see the data and we're going to be doing an operation called group by in Power Query. We can find this in the home tab or we can go to transform and it's also here. So click on group by. It's going to give you this window. We're going to be doing an advanced one because we're not only going to be using one column, but multiple fields or columns to group by. So it's going to be the date and the channel name. And then down here, we're going to be doing the aggregations. So the first one is going to be total products. So total products is going to be the count rows or it can be count this in rows, but in this case, count rows will be enough to give me the total products sold. Then we can do add aggregation, and this is going to be total sales. And the operation is going to be a sum of the column with the name of amount. And that's it. We just click OK, and it gives me the table that I need, which has 
251 rows. And this is it. All you need to do here is simply close and apply, and it's going to be loading that to a new table inside of Power BI Desktop, or if you were in Excel, it will be a new table inside of Excel. I'm now inside of Trufactance Wrangler, and in here, we're going to be working with something that they call flow. So the flow is the way that you can create this whole transformation process. So first I'm going to click on create flow. I'm going to name this grouping data dash YouTube. Click create and it's going to give you this new window. So it's going to take you here. And the first thing that you need to do is add data to that flow. So click on add data sets and you can click on this button here that says import data sets. You can click here and import the data sets that you want. Uh, in my case, I already imported the data. It's called sales. So if you have any data set that you already imported, you can simply search it right here or just select it straight from the view and just click on add. Once it finishes uh, loading this, it's going to be loading this as a new object in this canvas. If you hear this flow canvas and what's going to happen is that you can add a recipe to that specific data. Notice that I have this details pane, which is a lot of metadata about that specific file. If it's been used in another flow, for example, where it's located, the size, uh, how many columns, uh, the data types within it, the file size, and more metadata about it. So I'm gonna click on add new recipe, and the recipe is basically the steps. So we're gonna be creating a new way or a new script that is going to be applied to that specific file for transformation. So here it created this new icon, uh, which is the recipe or the script uh, that is going to be applied to the specific file, this data set. I can change this instead of being sales dash two, just click on edit name and description. And this is going to be called output because this is really going to be my last or the only step that I'm going to be doing because it is really simple. So click on edit recipe so you can edit things and it's going to take you to this new way or this new window where you're going to get a really nice preview of your data. It's really going to be visual. So you see the data as a grid. This is the grid view. And within each column, you're going to get the data type on the top left. And you're going to get this bar chart, this column chart. And here is how many value values it found. It has one missing value. So let's just go ahead and see what is that missing value. Uh, we can simply click where it says missing value, uh, keep rows. And yeah, I'm going to get rid of those missing values because it probably loaded one of those rows that doesn't have any data. So let's go ahead and just simply click on that missing value and notice that there's a section on the right that says suggestions and it's contextual. When you actually click on any of those or on any of the values, it's going to give you some suggestions based on your selection. So we can say, hey, delete rows with missing values in amount. So just click here and add, and that is going to get rid of those values that don't have any data. So here, what I would like to do is do the group by operation that we saw before. To do that, I can either go here, right here where we are, or we can select the columns. Uh, view, which is the one that I like, uh, it's more straightforward. And here the action is I'm going to select this column, the date, and I'm going to say that I want to do an aggregation, but it's going to be an aggregation as a completely new table using the group by operation. So it's going to give me now this preview of how things are before and after, and the whole process or the step is on the right. So it's doing a transformation called aggregate and it's going to be grouping data by date and also by channel name. But in Power Query, inside of Power BI Desktop, we saw that we had a dropdown of aggregations that were available. In here, it's not so uh, intuitive. You actually need to click here on Browse Aggregate Functions and find the functions that you actually want to do. So in my case, it's going to be account A 
and it's going to be browse columns now. Let's do simply a count a of channeling, which is going to give me this. It's simply going to be a count of uh, the values, which is going to give me the total product sold. Then I'm going to add another formula, or I can simply type it, sum of amount, which is going to give me the total sales. You can click on add once that is done, and that is going to create a completely new step with the output as it looks on the preview window down here. So let me see if I can actually, there we go. So click on add. You see that we now have two steps on my recipe. And I want to add a new one, which is going to be the rename step or the rename uh, column. So click on rename. I'm going to rename this to be total sales. Click add on channel name. Click rename. And this is going to be total products. Click add. And that's going to be another step. So you see, delete rows, aggregate, rename, and rename. There we go. So we have everything that we needed. So all we need to do here is simply click on generate results and we're going to be able to export the result as a CSV, a JSON or a TDE. We can even click here where it says profile results so we can get a report of how things went on that uh, process. I click on generate results so we can export that data and we're just going to wait. So right now it's trying to export it as a CSV. We're going to get this uh, results. Notice that it has 100% on value. So there were no errors. This is the time that it completed this. And then we see how many missing. So this is how you work inside of Trifactus Wrangler and how you export or generate the results of your flow.